Well, good morning, Lionhearts. Your old pal, Jordan the Lion. Welcome back to Paris. That's right, we're still here and we have a great day planned. I'm not even gonna tell you what we're gonna do. We're just gonna hop on the subway and get there. Days with Jordan the Lion begins now. So where we're heading off to right now is called Saint Chapelle. You can't complain about those views, can you? So we're pretty close to St. Chapelle, and the reason that I wanted to go there was because this is one of the last remaining uh, buildings from its time period, and it was actually a church that was created by Louis IX um, as a place of worship, but it was also because he bought 30 relics of Christ um, way back in like the 1300s, and he wanted them housed here. Now, some of them, I believe, are still there. What's weird is that the cost of, of building what we're gonna see he actually spent over twice that just on the silver um, chest, basically, that he wanted to house all these things in. Now, originally when he uh, got all of those things, he had um, a week-long celebration and he actually took them into the church himself um, barefoot and basically dressed like a peasant. And um, one of the main acquisitions that he got during that time was he got Christ's um, halo of thorns, like the wreath of thorns that were on, on his head. Now they're not here anymore. They're actually at the Cathedral of Notre Dame, which we will go into later. But uh, let's go check out this now because he created a really, really amazing stained glass um, scenic point in there. So when you walk in, you get to see a little bit of his history and it's just supposedly very beautiful inside. So let's go. So here's where you fill up your water. Let's see? Nice. And here it is. Definitely gothic, no question about that. Look at that guy coming out of the side up there. It's kind of cool. Wow, take a look at this place. Kind of reminds me of Krakow. Now I think most of the cool stuff we want to see is upstairs, so let's go upstairs. Feast your eyes on this. Everything is stained glass. Each pane up here tells a story. Pretty interesting to know this has been around since the 1300s. Now that I'm up close and just barely touched it, just out of curiosity, all of these are 
three-dimensional. They've kind of been debossed. They come outward, it's pretty cool. So when we came out, I noticed that it says right here, this was uh, built by St. Louis in the 13th century, much like I said, in the heart of Palace de Seat, to house the relics of the Passion of Christ. Pretty interesting place. Now I want to head over to uh, Notre Dame. And then that is what all of those stained glass windows that we just saw on the inside look like out here. Now you can see out here that they have various pieces that have either broken off or that they've had to reconstruct and repair. They have them out here to be viewed. Oh man, I love this gate. Look how detailed that is. Those swords right there in the center. Both of those circles. It's one of the more interesting uh, metro stops. And here it is, the famed Cathedral of Notre Dame. Now, like I said, I do believe that they have the crown of thorns in here now. And I would not get my hopes up for a uh, Quasimodo sighting today. If I were you. But you never know. That is pretty elaborate. Just heard the bells going off. That's pretty cool. Look at all of those in there. That is insane. That is a lot of figures. the baptism chapel. And this is one of the former cardinals of Paris. This is interesting. This is the Chapel of St. Ferdinand. Almost waiting for someone to start yelling, Sanctuary! This is very cool. This is a, uh, a model of them building the cathedral from the ground up. You can see right there. And here's a wooden model of it. You can see everybody comes up here and rubs his Either his hand or his leg. So, we'll do the same thing. And this is the Chapel of St. Guillaume. Okay, well, I think we're in luck. I just found out that the treasury is actually a separate part that you can pay to go into, so I just paid. Didn't come with the pass that I had bought for the Paris trip, but we're gonna see it now. It's like this is a christening robe. And here's the tunic of St. Louis. You can see it depicted right here. And 
And this is this little exhibit right here is called the Cathedral's Grandest Hour, and it says the conversion of Paul Claude, visit of Pope John Paul II, the Twelfth World Youth Day. Now it says here that the uh, this case has the belongings of three archbishops of Paris that were died, that were killed in tragic circumstances. Inside there is a bone, and it says it says Saint Vincent the Martyr. And here it says this is a relic of Saint Claude, and it looks like a little little piece of wood inside that little vial. the crown of Guadalupe. There's Pope John Paul. I am a little disappointed. I've walked all the way through here and I don't see the uh crown of thorns hmm well there it is my friends we found it right there encased in that red glass is the crown of thorns of Jesus As you know who, Saint Joan of Arc. And here is the altar of Notre Dame. Wow, what a powerful uh, visit this was. Almost speechless. I read online somewhere they said that even though there was never a real Quasimodo, there's never a hunchback of Notre Dame, they added one and I think from walking around out here, I think that's it. I think that's him. What do you think? There he is from a different angle, a little further up the street I zoomed in. What do you think? And then check this out. They have the bells of Notre Dame out here on display. Older, <laughs> not the ones they're using now, obviously. 
All right, my friends, I'm gonna call it a night. That was unbelievable. I'm sure somebody will speculate that that is not the original Crown of Thorns, but I believe it. I mean, everything I've read, it, you know, we can't go back in history and uh, revisit the celebrations and everything, but um, pretty interesting experience. Thank you all for watching. Thank you, Rachel Delgado, for making a contribution to my channel. We'll see you all tomorrow. Have a great night and goodbye.